Welcome in this short session. We are going to learn about the different options which are used to set up the replication in PostgreSQL. So we have the master in uh, replication using RepMG are already available. So you can check the details over there. Let's see what are the different options to set up the replication when and this is sometimes very contradictory topic when we say what are the different options, what are the tools and the it's it's a different way of explaining the item so when we say there is the first term which comes as physical replication this is an inbuilt uh, replication uh, which is available in postgresql wherein uh, postgre is going to support the physical replication where the entire database cluster can be replicated to one or more standby servers you can make it for the standby server or you can also replicate it on to the same uh, kind of uh, what do you say the the major version of the postgresql and it can be restored over there physical replication means the entire cluster of the source postgresql can be replicated to one or more standby servers behind these uh, physical replication you use a wall which is write ahead log and they are shipped from the source uh, primary server to the standby servers. Physical replications can be of two modes. Uh, it is synchronous or in asynchronous, depending upon your requirement. By default, it is going to be uh, synchronous. There is another uh, replication which is available in PostgreSQL, and that's quite famous is logical replication. And PostgreSQL supports uh, logical replication, that means. Um, your first way of physical replication that means you are replicating the entire cluster from the source to the target that means from primary database cluster to the standby database cluster in case that is not your requirement you just wanted to replicate a few database objects not the entire one then in that case you can use logical replication this replication method uses the logical decoding and that has been introduced uh, long back Logical uh, replication, it is uh, used for more flexibility in replicating the specific data code. Say, for example, I have a database of 10 terabyte in size. I don't want to replicate the entire um, data set. I just wanted to uh, replicate a table which is just a few GB in size. It's not required to replicate the entire physical. You do not need to have a standby data ser database server to replicate everything but a subset of that can be used uh, to replicate using the logical replication. The another term which comes into the picture is streaming replication. A streaming replication is built in replication for the PostgreSQL that uses the physical replication. Using um, streaming replication, you can create one or more standby servers and that continuously receive the changes from the primary Postgre cluster or the source server. A streaming replication uses the uh, streaming replication protocol, which keep on sending the changes uh, over the network on port number 5432. So whenever you are uh, setting up the streaming replication between two or more servers, the source PostgreSQL cluster and uh, the target uh, standby database cluster, uh, they should have uh, the port uh, working among themselves so that the changes which are happening on to the source PostgreSQL cluster in wall they can be transferred so there are ways to do that we are not going to talk about that as of now so streaming replication provides the high availability and, and that can be used for synchronous or asynchronous replication let's talk about asynchronous replication so Asynchronous replication in uh, physical replication, we mean that the primary is not going to wait for the confirmation from the standby servers before committing a transaction. Say for example, a transaction which happened onto the source, it is not supposed to be committed on the same time to the standby server. And that's what we call as the default mode of replication is asynchronous replication. 
this replication method it is going to provide you lower latency but it may result in some data loss if there is a failure on the primary server side so there are pros and there are cons also when you set up asynchronous or synchronous replication when you talk about the synchronous replication it is another uh, form of the physical replication where in the primary server is going to wait for the confirmation when the changes which are made onto the source PostgreSQL cluster they are going to be committed on one or more standby PostgreSQL cluster this replication uh, method is going to provide more uh, consistency but it is going to introduce uh, high latency due to the synchronous nature of the replication so if you do not have a network which is high performing and in case there are too much of uh, changes happening and they are not getting transferred on the real time then this is not the best use case for you it depends upon the worst use case of your environment if you can afford to have some kind of latency in the data between source and the target and you can afford to have some data loss you can go for that but they, the changes are, are minimal which are lagging between source and the target but there is always some sort of lagging which may be in microseconds milliseconds and most of the time in real time they are getting transferred from the source postgresql cluster to the target just from primary to standby there is another terminology which comes into the picture which is hot standby and uh, what we do is uh, you can create the read only standby servers which happen by by nature and this particular standby server you can put it that is in read only mode so you can query the replicated data and it's already open into read only mode and it always keeps on applying the changes which are happening on the source postgresql cluster and this is uh, highly used for the scale scalability and this is uh, used to offload the read traffic say for example i have one primary and one standby which is open in uh, which is hot standby then you can read the data from there this is another important topic which is logical decoding and replication slots again it is a uh, entire uh, big topic to be discussed uh, maybe in coming uh, session like this i'll discuss more about it what are the different tools to set up replication in PostgreSQL? By default, we use uh, streaming replication or the physical replication, which is built in support for the you know, physical replication through the streaming replication. So, so you, the, the terms are used interchangeably, the physical replication or the streaming replication. It is like you have a, a source PostgreSQL cluster and you can create the um, same database cluster onto the replica environment the changes are replicated almost in real time and physical replication is reliable and it provides the high availability logical replication it also so your postgres supports the logical replication and you can replicate a specific table or a specific columns within the tables and this is useful when we want subset of data to be replicated so the tools available we have physical replication streaming replication the second we have logical replication there are some other um, projects also available so we have pg logical which is uh, a very famous extension for postgresql and it provides the logical replication capability the way you have done it for the the previous slide that can be easily done using this This is one of the most famous and we have the course available. So RepMGR is a popular tool for managing replication and failover in PostgreSQL. And it is going to simplify the process of setting up uh, the high availability between multiple nodes. So you can automate the failover, you can monitor, you can administer what's going to happen and what's happening. RepMGR uses the concept of standby servers and it allows for easy promotion of a standby server to become the new primary in case of a failure. It also provides tool for monitoring and replicating the status and performing administrates. So there are a lot of things which are possible in RepMGR. You have Patroni, which is another tool which is going to simplify the setup and management of PostgreSQL replication. Uh, it is having some more features as uh, you see in RepMGR. 
and uh, in hopefully in some uh, coming sessions we are going to see how to manage our PostgreSQL cluster through Patroni. So just stay tuned for more details. And that's it for now.